Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn how to create a custom distro. In previous video we learned what is a distro and in this video we are going to implement that and we are going to create our own distro. So let us begin. So first of all we need to find the file location where to put the distro. So let us go back and source our environment first of all. So source now we are inside our build folder. To create the distro we need to go to our pocky folder and here we have our meta tab layer. So we need to go to our layer you have named whatever uh, it is. So we need to go to our layer and here we will go inside conf and inside conf we will create a folder called distro and inside the distro folder we will go and create our own distro. So I will name it touch take a dot com I'll open my code touch by dot com so now we'll go back and we'll take our so actually we are building this distro upon our pocket distro so it means that this distro will inherit each and every settings and configuration that Pocky Distro have. So we'll go inside first of all Meta Pocky, and here we'll go Conf Distro, and we'll open this Pocky.conf reference. Conf, and here we have Pocky.conf. Close from here, and we'll do close that that and we have SF and what we can do one more thing we need to see is time.com here we can find how it has inherited the base distro so what we'll do is here so we will first of all copy this line here so it means that our tech abide.conf this is true it has uh, all the thing and settings that uh, pocky already has uh, let us change the name for tech abide let us make it tab distro it will be sound better Go back and cd meta tab on distro and I will rename it take a byte distro to tab distro to so we know that this is a distro and then we can re open it in the code okay here we have after that we need to give a name to our distro and it must be same as the name of our file so it should be now tab distro and then a description distro name it is a more descriptive form of distro so it will be distro Name. So name is defined here. Take a take a byte distro based upon. So 
we have these two things then what we need else is what we can export from the local.com these two things first of all we need now we go in our local.com so I will just bring it here it's much easier side by side what we can export so first of all we can export all these things about the our uh, system D because we know that the distro contains all the settings all the configurations that affects all the overall system so system D will take will do control X because we don't need it here anymore and control V now we also remove some features and these are image features we can all it can also be exported to the distro control X and now control C control V okay now the root password we can also export it control X and once again control so these two things are required for the building purpose so I'll keep them in local.conf and this too we don't need them and now I'll save it and what we'll do now is we'll go to our local.conf and previously we had here distro distro okay so if you remember what this sign means so what we can do is copy the distro and here at the end I can redefine the distro equal to tab distro. so now what we need to do is we just need to build and it should contain all the settings so this is our distro and let us for safety let us just disable this one just comment it out now what we'll do is we'll go to our build environment and we will build it and we'll do bit bake course image full I think it will take a while. Still passing. now the parsing is complete it took a while uh, because it is first time we are using this uh, tab distro so it took longer but as we will build uh, in the future with the same distro so next time it will be faster We have uh, actually already built uh, all these patches previously, so this time it's uh, getting data from the S S3 cache. So so it is now building very quickly because all the tasks are run have been run previously so now it is doing only the packages thing and a little bit of the stuff so that's why it is now 99% right now so 
so now our image has been built and it has been built successfully without any error it means that our distro is now in action so uh, furthermore what we can do is we can also add like if we have in the previous tutorials uh, when we are when we were learning depends and our depends so there were some preferred provider or preferred preferred provider of package it means that two uh, recipes are providing the same tool or to uh, same util so we can use preferred provider also in our distro as well as preferred version if uh, there are two different version of uh, the same package or same utils so we can also uh, write it here now we will test so let me do the setup and then we will see so now we are inside our google bone black and now we will check if we have our updated cat distro or not for that what we will do we will do cat etc uh, forward slash etc forward slash os release and here you can see that the id is now tab distro name is take a byte distro based upon funky distro that we have these two things that we have written here and here's the prettier name with also the uh, version and the branch so this is all about how to create a distro and how to check if it is has it has been implemented so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you soon in the next video thanks for watching